So uh, this is an ILG model 243. It has the original converter box, which is not in the best of condition, but it's here. Um, and uh, what I've done with this fan is it started off as a single speed, 115 volt only. Uh, you know, that's what the converter box and motor are rated for. Um, 855 RPM that's just what this fan was and what I've done is wired it so that it's configured to run on two speeds uh, these motors they have two they have two run windings and one start winding in them so if you run the the, uh, the two run windings in parallel you'll get your your full speed that's uh, that's how the motors are you know the diagram tells you to wire it for this but to get low speed you simply just wire it in series so uh for parallel on these fans i think it's um terminals one and two get wired together and then three and four get wired together and that's your parallel connection but for series you would use uh two and three would go to your line one and line two and then one and four would get tied together and that gives you your series connection and it'll run on low speed now you could either just you could literally just wire it that way and leave it and it'll run on either high or low but if you want to be able to switch it on and off you can actually add a little switch to this and that's what i did here this is just a little double pole switch uh, it's a six terminal switch but it's just a single throw there's no middle position uh, and all I've done is the one side of it loops the two uh, two sides of the circuit together. That's what gives you your... It actually connects one and four together. That gives you your, uh, your series connection. And then when you have it the other way, it connects one... I think it's one to... One to two and three to four. And that's how the, the fan is wired for parallel. One and two and three and four. So that does that just with this switch. And I have that just wired into the converter box. You could certainly do it without a converter box. If you just have one of these fans, you just need to find the right size run capacitor for it. And uh, you know you could wire it up the same way. Now you could actually use a different switch that has three poles and has uh, three positions. You know, uh, you could do that and then have it so that one position is off and then you'd have uh, a high and a low. Now, I didn't do that with this because it has the converter, so I already have an on and an off right here. Um, but if you tried to use a switch like this, or if you tried using a double pole that had the, uh, the middle position where it's off, what's gonna happen is it doesn't ever disconnect the start windings. So it's gonna, even though the fan won't run, it's actually going to still be energizing the start windings and it'll burn your motor up. So you really don't want to do that. You got to make sure you use the right kind of switch for the way it's wired, how you have it set up. But at any rate, um, I will start this thing up. Here's low speed. Now I've measured just with a tachometer. Uh, on low, it does around 540, 550 RPM. Which, from the catalog, these 243s for the two-speed variety, they were listed at 855 for high and 600 for low. But it does say in there that the low speed is estimated. Um, you know, it's not an exact figure. And, uh, you know... Even on high speed, this doesn't exactly run at spec. Uh, you know, it's supposed to run 855. It actually runs around 847 on this, so it's a little slow. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just, you know, an aged capacitor, maybe, or what. I don't know what it is, if that's just how, it's, how it was designed to run. 
but um, anyway we'll kick this on high and just like that we're in high speed so it's really uh, you know it doesn't take much space up um, and it's a little bit more wires in the box but it's not too crazy and you end up with a fan that you can kind of tone back a little bit if you don't want it on full blast and it actually draws less current too um, you know on high speed this is what I had for a current was 2.75 amps and uh, 0.77 was the power factor for that and then on low speed it was 1.62 amps and 0.85 for the power factor um, now I have another one of these fans that is older that has a different slightly different style motor it's a six lead motor and uh, that didn't have the converter box with it so for that fan I did experiments with it trying to find the right size capacitor and I ended up using a 17.5 microfarad capacitor on that I'm not sure what the original one is in here I have to check that but um, that fan actually uh, it runs on low speed it has perfect power factor it's like between 0.99 and 1.0 and on high speed it's about 0 0.89 0 0.88 so it has better power factor and um, it draws less amps so on high speed instead of 2.75 the other one draws around 2.63 2.65 and then on uh, low speed it draws around 1.45 so um, you know I don't know if this thing just maybe the capacitor is old and it's not quite doing its full job it's the capacitance isn't as high as it once was I'm not sure or if it's just maybe the capacitor that I selected for the other fan is actually slightly higher than it needs to be um, that's just from my test that other one that was what got the current to be at its low point if I went higher than 17.5 microfarads the current went up and if I went lower than 17.5 microfarads um, the current also went up so that was the sweet spot that I had found now that fan runs at about 700 rpm on low speed and 850 on high so there is a difference this one you know you're talking about 550 on low versus 700 so uh, i suppose you can kind of change the low speed a little bit based on what size capacitor you have you could probably if you really wanted to make a dual system where you have two different capacitance sizes for the two different speeds independently but um it seems to work pretty much just fine uh using the original stuff using a single capacitor for either speed and it's just a nice smooth quiet you know the bearings are still old in this fan so it's a little bit of bearing noise but uh it's definitely uh much quieter than if i kick this on high even though that's really not all that loud either. These ILGs are pretty quiet fans. But, yep, so that's uh, another fan that has been converted to a two-speed. So if anybody has any questions about how I did that, uh, you know, leave a comment. I can show you a wire diagram or explain how the wiring of these motors works and the converter boxes as well. And uh, thanks for watching.